Have you ever been to a place where there is wildlife? Let's say there are monkeys on the road. Or maybe you go to a national park. There is one warning sign that they post. They say that you should not feed the wild animals. You should not feed the monkeys. Why so? Why do they warn us of not feeding animals? Isn't feeding someone a good thing? Well, if lots of people start feeding them, they will start depending on humans for food. And let's say one day someone comes who doesn't feed those animals, who doesn't feed those monkeys. They will become aggressive because they depend on humans for food. They will attack that human who doesn't feed them. They will become aggressive, yes. Unfortunately, the same problem lies with humans as well. A lot of times, humans also take other people, other situations for granted. And when someone takes a situation, a person for granted, that is a disaster waiting to happen. Because let's say you are feeding some other person. And if you stop feeding that person, that person will become aggressive, right? Why aren't you feeding me? I need food. I need food to survive. And this is just one example. Now, the aggression is not the only problem in this situation. What if you keep feeding those animals? What if you keep feeding those wild animals? They will stop hunting for themselves. They will stop looking for food for their own selves. Yes. Compare a stray dog to a pet dog. If you don't give food to a pet dog, that dog will die. But if you don't give food to a stray dog, that dog knows that he or she has to hunt for food that dog will go into the garbage cans to hunt for food yes so if you stop feeding those animals they will not only become aggressive they will also not be able to survive for their own selves yes where am i going with this conversation let me tell you Whenever you as a human start taking anything else for granted, you're headed for a disaster. Let me give you three very interesting examples for this. First example is something that the entire globe is facing right now. That is the COVID-19 situation. People thought that they could depend on whatever situation they had around them for their livelihood. A lot of people depended on travel for their livelihood. A lot of people depended on other travelers coming to their hotels for livelihood. Yes, a lot of things we humans took for granted and they were suddenly taken away from us because of a tiny little virus that we can't even see. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you are noticing the aggression in humans. I'm pretty sure you're noticing the frustration. I'm pretty sure you are also frustrated to a very good extent. Yeah. And now in this situation where all the things that we took for granted are taken away from us, we don't know how to survive. The entire globe is facing these problems. No one knows how to deal with this situation. Yeah. Everyone is just somehow trying to adapt and learn how to live in this new situation. So taking things for granted is not a good thing. One more example that I'll take, which is relevant to the education industry. These days, a lot of people are giving free education online. Yeah. And fortunately or unfortunately, a lot of students start depending on these online educators for their own well-being, for their own marks, for their own results, for their own education. Yeah. Now, if you start taking an online educator for granted, what if that educator stops teaching? What if some unfortunate situation happens and that person is not able to teach online? And I've also seen as an educator myself, I've seen a lot of aggression from the community as well. If I don't provide people with the PDF of the class, they start shouting at me. If I don't provide people with slides that look exactly like what they want to study with they start shouting at me i have also seen this aggression so if you start depending on an educator and that educator is not able to fulfill the promise you are headed for a crash and i as an educator 
If I am not able to fulfill the promise, I have to face a lot of the aggression from you guys. Just giving you a general example, not pointing out to anyone specific, just an example. Yeah. The third example is perhaps the most important one in this situation. And it's something that we all should learn to improve in our lives. A lot of times as humans, we start depending on someone else for our happiness. We start depending on someone else's presence, someone else's actions for the well-being of our own life. A very millennial term would be toxic relationship. Yeah. Let's say you're depending on some person for your well-being. Let's say there's a person who makes you happy, who makes you laugh, who makes you smile. What if that person is not able to do so for a longer period of time? What if something bad happens in the relationship? What if there's an unfortunate circumstance? What if that person is facing some problems in his or her life and is not able to give you his or her full attention? What will happen then? Then you will feel miserable because you have given the reins of your well-being into someone else's hands. So not only would you start to feel miserable, you would also become aggressive on them. That's why people fight with each other. You expect the other person to do something because your well-being depends on their actions. Yes? Let me give you the other side of this example. Let's say someone depends on you for their well-being. If something happens in your life, if some problems happen in your life and you're not able to give full attention to that person, that person will become aggressive with you. And since that person is so close to you, this aggression, it's very stressful, isn't it? Lots of fights. You know what happens. Don't take anything, any situation, any person for granted. Because you are the only one who's responsible for your own life. And this is something that I say again and again. And this does not mean that you stop asking for help if you need it. If you need help, search for help. Ask for help. It is fine. There is a reason why this channel is called Catalysis. Yeah. Asking for help is fine. Enjoying the company of some other person is absolutely fine. But depending on the situation, depending on that other person for your well-being, that's not something you want to do. If you are depending on a situation, if you are depending on a person, please take a step back. If there is someone else who's depending on you, please take a step back. Because as soon as you start taking things for granted, as soon as you become dependent, you are headed towards a very big, very brutal crash. Done.